In this video, we look at how bit patterns may represent other forms of data, including graphics and sound. So let's just very quickly recap what binary is. A binary digit is a bit, and it's a single zero or one. Having just two states makes it simple to build electronic devices that use these two states. For example, with RAM, data can be represented with capacitors. They either hold a charge, let's say one, or they don't hold a charge, let's say zero. Data on traditional hard disks is stored using magnetism, using either north polarity representing one and south, say, representing zero. Data on optical disks can be stored so that light can be reflected from the surface or not, again, zero or one. And data on solid state storage, such as memory cards, is stored via trapped electrons or free electrons, again, zero or one. So, what exactly does the following sequence of binary bits represent? 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Well, the whole point here, and you probably should realize this by now, is that it all depends how we want to interpret that particular pattern or string of bits. If we threw that pattern of 0 and 1 through the ASCII character set, it would tell us it was representing the lowercase f. If we said look at that same string of 0 and 1s, and using signed binary integer in 2's complement, what is it? We would say it was the number 102. A black and white image that uses one bit to store each pixel would give us eight pixels of white and black from that sequence of zero and ones. Let's say this was now a 24 bit color image. The exact same patterns of zero ones would be able to specify the given value and color hue for either the green, red, or blue values of a single pixel. And if we threw that sequence of zero ones in a digital to analog converter, it would actually form part of an analog waveform. The point is, you cannot tell what a given bit pattern represents, and it can indeed represent many different things. It all depends how we interpret and translate that pattern of binary digits. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is a bit pattern? And why can you not tell what a bit pattern represents simply by looking at it?